Hey, new blog, new blog channel, new blog stuff. Yeah. Um, what I'm really doing right now is opening up a thing I ordered, um, a metal C-clasp for my wig head because my current one's plastic and it's not been able to hold the weight of this, this lady right here, which is, it is quite the, quite the weighty girl. So I am currently unwrapping this guy and, uh, doing my best. And he is really wrapped, like he is fragile, which I'm pretty sure he's not. That was the whole point. So noisy. All right, so here's my metal clasp. Um. The next question is, can I get this wig head off this guy and onto that guy? Yes. Oh, thank you. I'm so relieved. Okay. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because it's time to go beyond just the basic. I really need to attach, att attack, do something with these curls and this hair and, um, cover up this <laughs> I mean I'll cover up with other things too but like you know it's time to move on and, and do some stuff with this so that's what I'm about to start doing and it would be nice if I could do that without having to like constantly fix the head and make it sit its head back up over and over and over again there we are. And I just wanted it to stop sliding around. All right, I shook the table, which means I shook you. All right, the next thing is this thing goes into the wig head, but to understand why it's so cool is you can literally turn it sideways to hang off the table, which I won't do. That's nice. But you can basically aim the wig lots of directions. And then once you have it aimed the way you want it, you turn this and tighten it. So I'm gonna put my wig head here because I want to work on that part of it. This is what it looks like when it is thread marked. Um, and so it, I just basically traced around this with some thread that's easy to see. And then I will sew. And then I can cut. And I'm gonna do this a lot more times. 
because that was just one piece. Hey guys, just a real quick video to update you before I head out for the weekend. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd quickly let you see what I'm what I'm doing. So here goes. I have marked up my guide with letters to help me know what I'm doing between the different things. And then after a couple of false starts, I figured out a method so that I could keep track of what I've done so far. I have almost completely finished um, all the thread marking for the purple sweater. So basically my thread marking looks like this. And um, because I also like, the A's are really not in a danger for this because they are so significantly small compared to everything else. But like, so I don't confuse B's and C's and D's. I went ahead and lettered them with the thread as well. And that is what that looks like. And I've done that for a bunch. So the main, that's, as you can tell, that's where, that's what I have the most of. Um, and then for this, I finally finished trimming up the edge of this so that it's all about just rolling it over and hand stitching that. And I'm going to actually be taking that with me this weekend to work on because it's just sort of a mindless activity. So I can do that while I'm sitting and talking to people or doing other things that I need to be doing. And I'm also going to take the embroidery with me. We'll see if I do any of that. That's a little bit less mindless. So that's it. That's the update. And um, I will see you guys when I get back. Hey guys, new week after the weekend. Um, I've been a little bit sick here and there, uh, but I ate a cough drop and I seem to be functional at the moment. So yay. Um, I haven't shown my dress sorry i haven't shown my dress all put together in a bit so i'm about to show you that um because i'm really excited i think it looks so pretty um and i will show you that i have got all the purple thread marking done which took two sleeves which is all of them believe it or not the sweater did not come with three sleeves well actually i say that it took one and two thirds of the sleeve, save the rest of that sleeve, and both fronts of the sweater. So I have the whole back of the sweater left over to do with as I will. And I think I might make it into a pair of gloves or a pair of leg warmers. I'm not sure which. We'll decide afterwards. Um, and I have done all of the tan color um which um doesn't really have much left over so i don't think i'll be doing a whole lot with the leftover that was a sleeve off of a sweater so i finished off that sleeve so yeah that's what i've done with that i have gotten farther on the embroidery i've added some black yeah i'm doing it um and i've gotten almost a quarter of the way through my 11 yards of trim. So that's what I've done since I saw you last. And I actually feel pretty proud of as far as I've gotten because the whole weekend I was working and it would just be like stolen moments where I could sit that I would do any sewing whatsoever. So, um, yeah, that wasn't bad. Um, and I will do some more today. Hopefully I'll get the pinks, pink, uh, sweater stuff etched out and, um, who knows, maybe even the beige. Yes. Let me blow your mind. Um, but yeah, so we'll just go take a tour of the dress since I've currently got it all, like all the pieces on it. It's not done, but all the pieces are on it right now. And then we will talk later so oh my god guys i think you should look at this thing it's amazing um i am so proud of what i've gotten done so far on this it is by far the most elaborate thing i've ever made so i'm gonna start walking closer to it um let's see 
I was like moving it around earlier, so now it's kind of all wonky, but I still think it's mostly set up right. Now I'm going to have to adjust it. So pardon me while I adjust my skirts. Oh well. It needs an ironing so bad, so just excuse that please. But I figured there's no reason to iron it until I'm done. So you've already seen the basics down here. That hasn't really changed. I just think seeing it all together, especially with the stomacher, makes a world of difference. So this is how it's going to fit and lay. So now you see that the hip things really do fall on the hip. Amazing. I'm going to call them hip flounces for now because uh, I don't know what else to call them. Um, and so you can see kind of how this falls. And there's pins under here, but that's the whole point of having all this junk right here is to hide the pins because you're supposed to pin this together and if you don't have all the junk right there then it shows um there will be a nice beautiful rococo like apron here eventually to break up this line otherwise it's a little too one note you know because there's not enough going on in this dress right now so i feel like there needs to be more and um Honestly, that's actually how this lace happened, is I was like, oh, it's just fuchsia and then pink. We can't have that. Something has to go here. So then lace happened. Um, I haven't fully decided on everything that's going here, but I'm beginning to think I want to make like a small pink um, thing to go on the inside of the white and then have a contrasting fuchsia one that goes kind of against it. So that's currently what I'm thinking about. It also depends on how much I have left of both. And then if we go around here, here are my Watteau pleats. Um, and I was really sad because I had the most beautiful, like, so on the back, on top of your Watteau pleats, you do like this like fold of fabric. And it was just so beautifully sewn and it was hand sewn and I was so proud of it. Um, but these needed to go across it. So I covered it up but I was sad to cover it because it was just so pretty. Anyway, you know, you do what you have to do for the style you're going for. And my style is over accessorized. So <laughs> eventually I'm going to make a Rococo that's just meant to look actually Rococo and not a costume. And it will not be like this. So anyway, um, Part of what's great about these is they, again, break up the line back here. And the Watteau pleats uh, go down. In a traditional Rococo, you don't really have something to break up this line. It's just this beautiful swooping thing. But I think for a costume, you kind of want something to break up your line a little bit. And I am thinking about putting like a row of pearls right here. Or maybe a, a row of pearls and sequins or wrote something just again to break this up a little bit so it's not so plain and yeah so you know because there's only glitter here and glitter here and I feel like there needs to be something right here you know to keep with the amount that's right here which is a lot and yeah and I, of course, with the mitts that go with this, there will be the apron right here, which will fill this void right here. It's going to be out of sheer organza um, with uh, shiny bits, rhinestones, yes. And that's where I'm at so far. It's pretty. I also got all of the thread marking on this done. Um, and I've been continuing my process of hand sewing um, the trim. It's getting farther and it's it's looking really good. Like on the outside, it looks really, really good. Um, it's just, you know, it's a process to hand sew 11, 11 yards of trim. So I have issues. Hey, so it is the end of my two week stint for this time. And I don't have a whole lot that's exciting because I've been sick. Yay. But it wasn't COVID. I took a test 
and I took it again because <laughs> I was still sick. Um, not COVID. But the positive is, I got this whole thing hemmed. Um, as the video I put in the middle of this shows you, it's a lot. Um, but it's all hemmed. All 11.93 yards of it and some 35 and a half-ish feet, blah, 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 blah. A lot. A lot. I hand hemmed all of this. So now I will complete that all down and start working on finishing up my wig and all that fun stuff. guys uh new week new focus i don't know why i do this i feel like bill clinton from the 90s um anyway new week um my new focus this week is the details that will let me wear this dress there she is she's so pretty um to momocon which is coming up in a few weeks so i really just want to finish it up i honestly think in the next week or two I can get everything done that I need to get done in order to wear her because I just really need to finish up like some base trims and I will feel like she's wearable and then it will just be about getting little details done that I want done and unless it's something I can finish in a day or two I probably won't start it until after MomoCon. Um, so it's just stuff like that on the dress and then I need to finish the wig and that's it. Um, so yeah. Um, there are things that are still left to be made that I would like to get made for the dress before I consider it actually finished, but good enough to wear, we're pretty close. So that's what I'm working on right now. Um, I have been drawing lines on silk and cutting those lines with specialty scissors. And now I have these lines. So my next step is to sew them. I would do the curvy things, but my scissors are really, really stiff. And I already have a problem in my left arm of a past of tennis elbow. And that means that my tendons there are actually, actually pro problematic. And so cutting curves with that scissors that are really stiff is, is a problem. So I can't do that. In addition, in addition, um, aside from the fact that I actually really kind of like this, um, this Dupiani um, is not like taffeta and the way it's cut right now, it won't like fuzz away. But, um, if I were to cut it in circles, um, even when I put some level of fray check on it, which I have done on the, on the arms up there, whoop, there, um, <laughs> that it still has some fraying. So like, I'm going to trim those up and hope that that's it, but it's not done as well as I would like. Um, I probably won't do much with Dupioni in the future unless I have a really strong plan for all of the edges. So I have learned a lot with this and that's it. Now I really am moving on. I will see you guys later. Hey, welcome to another day and another bit of work and to the fact that I apparently am so out of practice wearing eye makeup that I smear it because I'm cool. So um, I'm currently whip stitching all the trim uh, from the back to uh, make it so I can gather it. So it's like a gather whip stitch and then I am pressing it open after I've gathered it 
um, and it is looking so pretty, unlike my eyeliner, which has gotten ravaged. So this is what it looks like after I have pressed it. If I can bring it into screen, there it is. So excited to start adding this to my gown. You have no idea. This is going to be everything that I need to finish the gown to make it wearable. Will it be the last thing I do? Absolutely not, because I'm a maniac and I overplan. But it's the last thing I'm doing before Momocon to the gown. Uh, I still need to finish the wig. <sighs> I have to figure out my makeup. And I hopefully won't touch it. <laughs> and um, hopefully get more sleep before then, too. I'm looking a little rough today. But that possibly could just be because I wiped my makeup all over my face. And that backlighting is doing something interesting. We'll go this way. Ah, much better. Still look rough. So, hi. Gonna see you later. Um, but yeah, my main focus is getting this thing done right now. Um, I've taken a break from all the other projects uh, just because... Sorry, shaky hand. Uh, just because I want to make sure that this is done on time. Talk to you. I do really like the way this comes out. Oh, I kind of ended up a little bit focused one way and not the other. But you end up with like this really great sort of ruffle that spreads out. And what it takes is a whip stitch in the back. Hello, camera. Camera focus on that. There we are. It takes this really cool whip stitch in the back and that makes it open up like this instead of just being a straight gather. So I learned the hard way with my sleeves that if I tried to just do a straight gather, it didn't lay the way I really wanted it to lay. And I was disappointed with how the sleeves came out. So I decided not to do that with my ruffles. Just a quick update. Um, I am in the process. I have hand whip stitched all the pink ones and I have them in whip stitch form here. I've gathered three of them. Here's two of the gathered ones. One is actually pinned to the dress right now. And then just as a reminder, before they're whip stitched, they look like this. Um, I'm going to take a break from gathering because it gets tiring. And um, I'm going to go ahead and whip stitch because I've actually started whip stitching some of the fuchsia ones as well. And I'm going to whip stitch another fuchsia guy because... I want to. So I will see you guys later. So guys, um, I'm trying this monster of a wig on. It's bigger than my actual head. Um, <laughs> I don't think I fully realized how big it was until I put it on my head. Like it looked big, but not like this big. Um, a couple things. I definitely need to trim up the bangs. They need to come up to like closer to here and here and here so that's got to get trimmed up um so that's good to know um i mostly partly did this so i can know where to put the curls um so i have kind of a sketch basically by pinning this first curl attempt so now i can make a couple more and then i'll have them coming down the side of the wig um and i'll have that on both sides to cover up this thin patch right here um, and then the hair part of the wig will be done. So the only thing left at that point will be um, a poof and decoration. Um, eventually, I'm going to put something else up here. I'm going to leave that as a bit of a surprise until I'm ready to start working on it. Um, yeah, <laughs> this thing is so dumb. I love it. I love how stupid it is. Um, yeah, this has been a monster. This is my second, like, serious styling of a wig, and so I feel pretty okay. This is actually surprisingly 
solid. It will fall, but it's pretty solid on my head considering the fact that it's so big and should be so heavy. Um, I haven't pinned it down or anything. I'll have to figure out how to do that pretty well without like messing up the wig. I might like pin down here and then, um, and then have a decoration that goes on top so that I can pin without messing up the wig's integrity anywhere. And, uh, God, these things keep getting my eyes. They're definitely going to be trimmed down. Aside from aesthetically, they need to be trimmed down to look better. Because that looks much better already, just like that. Plus, I think a thinner point, a thicker point, looks cuter than the long, thin point I've got going on. Um, but yeah, so. Going to be styling that. Excited. Excited to not have hair going in my eyes every five seconds. Um, and I'm going to finish getting her hair all styled. Um, lots of makeup because I am not the best blonde face in the world. Um, and if you're curious about what I am doing, aside from continuing to sew today to prepare for Momocon and style the wig, is I'm actually practicing wearing some of the pieces because, um... I have to build up my endurance. I had the long COVID and I can't, uh, sorry, I am way distracted. I <laughs> can't, um, I have to build up my endurance to wearing such heavy stuff. So like this petticoat has just, is kind of weighty because of all the, the amount of, of cotton that's in it. So, um, the hoops are actually fairly light. But I want to build it up because what I don't want is to put on the dress and then collapse. So, so I'm practicing wearing stuff on my off hours at home. <laughs> oh my god, it's so dumb. You guys have no idea how much joy that brings me. I can't wait to finish it. All right, bye. All right, so... Because I've done so much trying on and taking off and trying on and taking off to get everything right after I made these, um, they had some problems with a little wear and tear, so I basically have patched it on the inside here. It's actually fairly hard to sew once all the stuff is in, which is why you always put the, the hoops in last. But I have patched them. So now these hoops that I made for this one costume are patched and ready to go. So that's one thing I've done. Um, here is the under petticoat and I'm going to be hanging that up to travel with the over petticoat. And just so you can see the detail here. Um, and, uh, I really like it. I'd originally planned for some more detail, but I felt like it was going to border on getting sort of too much. Um, there's so much going on already with this, um, down to like the heart lace and the pearls and then this ruffle that I designed myself. So I didn't do that. Um, and then I'm going to just toss this to the side here, even though I'm about to put everything all nice and neat. Here is where she is at currently. So um, the thing that you guys missed is I added both of the trim colors. There's still a lot of detail I want to add, but this is not yet done, so that's fine. But I added that, it goes all the way around through the back, and I'm about to hang her up so she'll be ready for transport. Um, I'm pretty excited. I mean, there's just a lot of detail I've gotten to do so far, and there's still some detail I want to do, so... But yeah, I'm going to hang all of this up. Two hangers for this. Um, a hanger, probably separate for my boning. And then I've got all the other pieces over here, um, including the gloves. And actually, I finally, I'll make a mask eventually, but I, I finally made a little neck piece, the start of one. I actually have a lot that needs to go with that. I've got the under layers down here. Um, I'm borrowing pockets from Belle so that I have pockets. Shoes that you guys haven't really seen, but they exist. 
Um, and then I've got some stuff for Jane uh, already put aside here because she's going to be my Sunday and she's a lot lighter of a cosplay. And I'm about to start packing or organizing for packing. I'm just throwing everything on the guest bed, really. But um, this is going to be my organizing for... Um, yeah, you can see what shape this is in right now. I have not organized the guest bed in a bit. I'm going to, though. Um, right after Memocon. So, uh, so this is going to be Battle Bell. And, um, so I'm pretty excited to be organizing her. And, so yeah, I'm just going to throw her stuff out here. And, um, then I'm basically ready to go so uh yeah this is pretty exciting and then last but not least i'm planning to take kaylee with me as sort of a backup on the day that i wear i wear peach because i figure that peach is gonna take a little bit so i'm gonna take kaylee and kaylee's gonna be my relaxation costume so yeah this is all the stuff that i have to pack it looks doable, um, and I'm going to get on that. See you guys soon. So hopefully I'll see some of you guys at MomoCon, and maybe not everybody. Um, but uh, until then, have a wonderful weekend, month, whenever I post again. Um, have Take care of yourself, mask up, um, wash your hands. Hug a dog, pet a cat, kiss a goldfish, and I will see you later.